Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to make a um, twilight conversion and a sky replacement. Um, so let's first do the sky. I'm going to use this feature auto quick swap. Um, you guys are going to get the update soon. So let's just run this. Okay, so I'm going to swap out that sky. I actually want the twilight sky. So I'm going to change sky. Um, let's go with something like that. And now I'm going to flatten this. Let's go to our twilight day altar. And then I'm going to use day to night. Let's just take down this opacity, make it lighter. And now I'm going to click on lighting, the mask. Choose my polygonal lasso tool. Let's just zoom in here. Okay, so just make your selection. I think that's the hardest part about doing the twilight conversions is all the windows that you have to select. If you don't have too many, then that's fine. But sometimes there's like a lot of windows. Okay, so I selected the entire uh, square because um, I'm going to now hold down Alt or on a Mac it's Option to just change the cursor to have a minus sign on it. And now I'm going to deselect this section here. So just subtract this from your selection and then double click to uh, join it. And now the bottom section, again, hold down Alt or Option. I'm going to go all the way through here. Double click. So these windows are kind of easy, straightforward, nothing uh, that's in my way like a tree or anything like that. But sometimes then you'll get those issues. Now on one of the other Twilight tutorials then I'm dealing with um, where there are trees in the way and leaves and I show you how to just work around that. I just came across this image and I figured that there's actually a good image to do for twilight. Now you'll get some um, windows that's completely black. Now that doesn't matter. This version, um, it's much easier to do your twilight, especially the windows. I think you can get a more realistic result with this version that's going to come out, um, which is version. 5.17.10 I think yeah so currently the version on the website is 08 but soon then that's gonna change to 10 and then you'll have all the these features that I have here but also probably more features I'm working kinda slow with this lasso tool because this mouse is a new mouse so not used to this thing yet now choose your paintbrush when you've got all your windows selected Choose your paintbrush. Now you can either fill the, uh, with the, the, this entire selection with a foreground color um, with uh, by holding down Alt. So my foreground color is white. And I'm going to brush it with white. But what you can do is hold down Alt or Option if your foreground color is white. And then click on Backspace or Delete. And then that will just fill the entire section with um, all the windows with the warm color. <coughs> Uh, so what you can do is maybe take down some of this the warm color here double click on the smart filter here you and saturation take out some of that color and I'm going to in the when it's released then it will have levels here as well but 
right now there isn't levels but i'm gonna add the levels here as well and then it will look like that then you can just double click on the levels also to brighten up the inside i don't want to brighten it up too much in fact i'm not gonna brighten it up at all not like this i want to just first check something because i'm going to switch on the lights on the inside so i'm now going to click on the lights layer and still on my brush tool i'm going to just swap it back to white and make my brush nice and small there. so luckily we can see the lights here we know where the lights are but if you can't see the lights and you just want to you want to fake it and then just put it where you think you you saw the light um usually in the center or something like that so i'm just going to click a few times here maybe like twice Uh, make the brush smaller here yeah, for this one click twice there let's just let's say that there's a light there just so that you know what I mean okay so uh, with that done now I can now I can just increase the brush size and click on the light glow brush because I want to put a glow I want to brush a glow around this light so um, let's see 100% mm, I think maybe that's too strong let's change it to 50% maybe like that okay yeah so yeah if I'm going to click here now it's going to have the the, the light um, the brush over the window frame here like that Okay, yeah, that's not too bad though, but um, if you want to just protect the window frames, hold down control or command and click on the lighting layer because here we made a selection already, so you can do that. Now we have our lasso selection again to protect our window frames, so now you can light up these, uh, just put the glow around the lights now. something like that now I I actually want to make this brush bigger I want to give a nice big bright glow around it like that something like that and on this window as well deselect now you can go brighter if you want to But I'm gonna leave it just with one click like that yeah I'm gonna leave it like that um, let's see now if I brighten up this windows the inside yeah that's 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 fine um, so if I if I'm going to try with the levels here at the top of the U um, if I'm going to try and open the UN saturation now it's going to hide the levels like that they uh, disabled what the levels was doing so cancel that drag the UN saturation above the levels and now you can do that you can even take it to a cool interior look you know although I don't know if that seems normal I'm just gonna leave it like that but yeah it changes you can do whatever you want um, the color doesn't really matter now um, so now I need to switch on the the exterior lights so I have two here um, but I think before I do that before I do that I'm going to first create the reflection of of the section here the, the windows here I'm going to need to create a reflection on the ground here so with the lighting layer selected I'm gonna click on light reflection and you you'll see that something changed in the windows choose your move tool and then flip the reflection like something like that drag it down to where you think it should be more or less and I'm going to just stretch this this section out here 
um, maybe pull it further back. Uh, I think think that looks fine. When you click enter, it will add, you will get a blur added. So there's a slight blur added to it, but you can you have a mask here on the on this copy lighting copy, and that's the reflection at the bottom. So you can take a brush and maybe like fade it. You can fade it, or um, what you can also do is this Gaussian blur of smart filter. Double click on that, and you can increase the blur. I don't actually know what what looks right. So you, as a photographer, will probably know better than me how it should be. Um, but I'm gonna leave it like that, and then I'm gonna fade it a bit. Um, and now um, I want to switch on this two lights here at front. So I'm thinking, I guess. Okay. It is actually on, but not can't really notice it that much. So, or is it on or is that? Not sure what's happening there, but I'm going to click on the lights layer now. And I'm going to just increase that to 100%. Now, I'm just going to click here, like that. So, you can, you don't have to, like, do it the way I did. You can protect this. Um, the light itself with a lasso selection and then control shift I or command shift I to invert that selection and now that will be protected something like that but I don't I, I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna do it like this you can do it with a selection if that's what you think it needs to be but I'm going to do this. Maybe that's too much. Um, add a bit more glow. Something like that. And now go to light glow with a plus next to it on the plugin. And then you need to add an effect to this lighting here. So. Uh, what would this be like? Maybe that one with that one. Let's try this one. So the when you click it, um, I still need to sort that out. But for now, I'm gonna leave it like that. But this, I had to get it from here. I I need to center this so that it's easier to find. But just know that if you have your auto select off and your con uh, show transform um, controls on then you should be fine so auto select if you have it on and I click then I'm going to be selecting this background here with auto select on I have to click on the on the correct layer here so if I just put it off I know that it will be selected and I can click anywhere and drag it because I have that layer selected and with transform on the the controls on, I can see a little square around the light around the layer. So then you can just click and drag it to where it should be. So maybe something like that. Um, you can duplicate this to make it brighter, like that. So now I've duplicated that layer, and then you can maybe just lower the opacity to something that you like. Uh, and now I'm going to group these two. So shift and then click on that layer and I've got both of them. And then, then you can right click on the layers and um, group from layers. And you can just name it or click OK. So now I have my one light. In fact, let's give it a name. So light glow one. <clears throat> So now I have one already there. Now I can duplicate this. And this should be at the top. Uh, Control or Command T. Right click on it and then flip vertical. So now I need to just position this one 
like that enter now I have two complete lighting uh, effects for this light here I actually did uh, that's not right with this how I put that switch these bulbs on here but um, I should have actually protected the top section at least but you get the idea um, so I'm going to duplicate this now or oh, actually I'm going to group these two now group uh, no man okay I don't see the I don't see the, the option there but control or command G or hold control or command and click on this group and then it will do the same thing then now I have this light here in a group I'm going to duplicate this now again the complete group and move it to the side here I'm gonna need to just just, just skew this a bit a little bit more like that enter so the, I've switched that lights on I'm not I'm not happy about this lighting that I did here this light bulbs I'm not happy with that um, let me okay I'm just going to mask out what I don't like so I added a mask to the lights layer and I'm just going to clean up over there and over there so instead of making a selection I'm just doing some masking maybe there's still a bit too much here maybe just a slight bit since that's at the top I think like that yes but yeah you can probably do it better than me um, I don't even want to think about selecting all these windows here but if you feel that you want to do that then you can um, now that I'm looking at it I don't like the bottom reflection as well so I'm gonna increase the Gaussian blur here maybe like that um, okay yeah, I think that is better now I've okay I've done everything now I think I've done everything and now I'm going to flatten this snap flatten and then you can do whatever you want now in camera raw or whatever um, let me have a look at the magic touch to add a bit contrast and that's too much I don't care about that I'm gonna hide this layer and I'm gonna hide the DI's layer okay so just playing with the fold to add a bit of contrast let me hide this and use the normal contrast and see if I get a better result Okay, that's darkening it which is what I kind of want in the t uh, with the twilight but it's not doing what I actually like completely um, so let's play with both of these maybe I can use it together then so this is darkening it and this is adding a nice colorful contrast I don't know um, I think that looks fine uh, okay that that's about it then yeah I hope this tutorial helped you guys it's um, I know it's a lot of things that you need to go through a lot of things that you need to take in um, but the more you do it the more you'll get better at it so I'll uh, post in the groups when I'm when I've released this version cheers